Now, the scapulohumeral reflex, remember I said to you that Shimizu called his reflex the scapulohumeral reflex in brackets Shimizu and confused the neurological world a bit with that. Um, this is the scapulohumeral reflex, and what you see here is there's, there's the uh, vertebral border of the scapula coming down there like that. There's the, uh, there's the angle of the scapula there. About a third of the way up from the angle of the scapula, you strike the bone. Make sure you don't hit the rhomboid. You need to hit the bone of the patient. Boom! And what you're looking for is a retraction of the scapula. And once again, it's C5 to C6, a long thoracic nerve. Okay? C5 to, sorry, to T1, but principally it arises from uh, T5. C5. C5, as in a big C, not T. Sound a bit the same, don't they? Okay. So that's the scapulohumeral reflex.